Look out. Flying guitars. Jaws 2. Duh, 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 duh. Ah. Yeah, whatever that's for. Two of me. Ooh, so. Ooh. You've got to be really careful around here because things can come flying at you from any direction. These amazing effects aren't coming from any part of the picture show studio, but from somebody's converted bedroom in Buckinghamshire. And it's somebody who wasn't content with writing his own music and appearing in his own videos. And that somebody is Mike Oldfield. Can you hear me, Mike? Yes, I can hear you. How are you feeling? This is seasick, are you? Well, I'm sort of disappearing and turning upside down and things. It's wonderful. Listen, this... What do you call this room, first of all? Oh, now um, I've gone round. I oh, call well. it the car, the central apparatus room. The central apparatus yeah. room. And this is where all the... This is... Why am I standing in front of a blue screen? Well, it enables me to put people in different environments. You know, if I want somebody to look as if they're underwater or out, out in the sea or anywhere, they don't actually have to leave this room. You just um, put them in front of the blue screen and project the, the relevant thing on the background. Project any image you like. Yes, yeah, like, um, like we can have snow. The we snow, can yeah, have, we've um, that. Well, can you do anything else in the background? Oh, that's marvellous. I've gone to a dot. Come back, help! There you are. <laughs> back again. That's great. How do you do all this? Well, it's a machine called a Mirage. A which, mirage. Uh, which I'm actually working from the gallery in here. All if, right, so if, shall you I... like, if you like, you can shall come, come in and have a look, yeah. Okay, right. Mike's studio is in a spare bedroom at the top of his house, deep in the Buckinghamshire countryside. It's packed with the most up-to-date, sophisticated video equipment available, and some of it will be the envy of most television companies. So there you are. This is where it all happens. Hey, this is really handy, isn't it, having, so, having everything so close? Oh. Was all this interest started from Tubular Bells? Because, um, oh, oh was, was there a big time lapse between recording that and actually starting on, on this kind of thing? Well, I've always liked pictures. I used to paint a little bit, and I've always been interested in photography. And then, since the pop music needed to have promotional videos, I've become increasingly interested in them, until I, I just finally decided to do them myself. Mm -hmm. And have you left Tubular Bells alone? Or have um, you put any, any graphics to that? No. Well, I have, actually. Have a look at this. This is my logo for... Um, projects that I do. This is, um, you might recognise this shape. This was all done here. That's amazing. And that's really become your symbol, isn't it? Yeah. So, how much time have you had to spend learning about all this equipment and how it works? I think it came, arrived last April. And it's taken since then. I've done two tracks and two videos and I'm working towards doing a whole video album which will be one side all songs with videos all linked together and uh, the other side will be a 28 minute instrumental which will have pictures on it as well so that, that should be a first I'm not sure anybody's done a pop video instrumental mm. thingy that could be good mm. now people could just say okay well it's very easy just to sit there with all that equipment and just to press buttons and things happen so mm. where does the skill come in well, in storyboarding the video, which um, Pete Claridge does, who just works with me on, on the videos. Um, in timing, how you cut from scene to scene, choosing the right pictures to go over the right sections of music, trying to follow the lyrics in the song so that the pictures match the song. And the, uh, the whole overall thing has a good flow to it, you know. And, mm. um, but talking about timing, is, um, you look at the timing of these symbols. Right on the beat, you mean? Right. Yes, yes. You know, it takes a lot of, lot of trouble to get exactly the timing exactly correct. Yeah. Do you know what happens when you press these buttons? Do you, know, do you well, actually know me, then. the workings of it? All right, then. Test well, me. If, <laughs> well, if, well, if you press that, I mean, you know what comes up there, but do you know what goes on behind the well. button? Or not? Behind the button. Well, that's dialing How far up. have you taken it? That's dialing up VTR4, and that um, brings it up to the mixer, you know, four VTRs. And all different pictures, different sorts of things come up when you press different buttons. So you do And know. then you can mix between one and another, and that's like dissolving between. You can wipe between, wipe between one and another, you know? Yeah. Mm. Mm. You dial in shape number 50, hit shape, and it will... And you know what shape number 50 is? Yes, well, I've got it all written down in the book, in you see, the book, but I'll, yeah. I'll remember what it does. 
36 whizzes it all that way. That's a nice one. One whizzes it back. Um, I just wanted to show you. I can pick up this uh, picture and make it fly around the screen. Um, 241. If that takes it a couple of seconds to load it up. Yeah. And it's going to turn into wow. a manta ray and start flying around the screen. That's terrific. Sort of mm. like a magic carpet. Mm. Seeing you doing this, I'm getting very itchy fingers. I am doing Just like you. That's how you started. You said, "Give it a little play." All right then. Well, this looks like a fried egg thing. Picture right? spin, okay? Just move the fried egg. Oh wow! You can spin the picture about. So how do I get it to actually move and start to? Well, go from corner to corner. Yeah, that way you're going to make it move its position. That way it's going to move its size. Right. Now if you hit this take button, and off it goes. Oh great! And you're playing an original sequence which I've put together. Oh, that's terrific. You've got a donut shape. What that is, is a flat picture wrapped up into a donut. That's okay. the window, isn't it, that we saw before? That's, that's my front window, yes. Yeah. And uh, what we can do is we can travel round that donut. If I hit, hit this, you can see that we're going into the donut. And now we're inside. We're inside that's the That's incredible. That's it's the like those tubes you go down where there's water. <laughs> a bit like going Dr. Through splash Who, isn't it? <laughs> If there was a person there, you'd see them sort of whizzing past you. Right. Well, we've seen bits of the new video, Shine. I think we ought to let it run now and see it all. Can you roll it for us? OK. Here right. it comes. Shine, shine, she is my light, she's my light.